to stay back 50 feet or more because most likely the plow will be turning back into the main thorough through to keep cleaning the roads while they're doing their first passes and then as they come back and clean up they'll be going straight through so just stay away from the plow. Uh, they can give themselves plenty of time to get where they got to go so that way they're not in such a big hurry and uh, trying to pass us and driving erratically. Probably the best way to eliminate the buildup of snow in the driveways would be to shovel downstream, put all the snow downstream from their driveway, and it may help eliminate some of the, some of the snow buildup in the driveway. No, it's not, it's, it's never really okay to pass a plow. Uh, we pretty much like you to stay at least 50 feet minimum, but 100, you know, it, it would be the safest for both parties. Uh, passing on the right, you never know with, with hazards such as a reflector or road debris or something like that coming off the plow and could damage the car. So we, we mainly would recommend that you never pass the plow on either side. Uh, the biggest pet peeve for a plow driver, I think, would be uh, being crowded by traffic. Uh, people that are in a hurry, trying to get to work. Um, usually when it's snowing out, we like to see people leave a little bit earlier so they're not rushed. Uh, a lot of times when people try to pass the snow plow, they find out that the road in front of the plow truck is not plowed and uh, they actually slow traffic down because they can't go as fast as they would behind the, the, the snow plow truck. There's so many, but uh, pulling out in front of a plow truck, um, the person that pulls out in front of a plow truck has uh, less traction and less uh, stopping ability. So as they pull out in front of the plow truck, they're not going to accelerate as fast as they might have and you're going to slow down the plow operator from doing his job correctly and in a timely fashion.